Welcome back to another game day vlog. Righto guys, so the truth is I am crook as a dog. And I don't know how because it's definitely not leather poisoning because I have not got a kick in the last three weeks. So it's not from playing good footy, I can tell you that. I just woke up Tuesday morning feeling absolute shit house and I just haven't been 100% since. So I woke up Tuesday feeling crook as a dog. Wednesday, didn't go to work. Thursday, had to go to work because I had no other option. We're that flat out at the moment at work. So I went to work uh, Thursday and then went to footy training Thursday night. Probably shouldn't have, but I needed to train at least once this week. And then it's Friday now, and I'm still not feeling 100%, but hopefully I'll get a good sleep, good feed, drink heaps of water tonight, and then hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow, and then I'll be able to perform a better game this week, because I haven't been great the last three weeks. So I'm just going to run you through from now on what I do throughout the week, training-wise. And this week I didn't get much done. So Monday night I was feeling good, and I was going to go to the gym, but I'm trying to get fitter, not so much more muscle. So I went for a run instead, and this is what I did. So I did a five-minute warm-up, then I did a two minute rest, then I did 10 times 100 meter sprints. So you'd sprint 100 meters, then you'd jog back 100 meters, and you'd go again on every minute. So I did 10 of them, and then I had a two minute rest, and I did a five minute jog to cool down. So I did that Monday night. Thank God I did something, because Tuesday I woke up so sick. Was meant to go to the gym Tuesday. Didn't go to the gym Tuesday. Was meant to go to footy training Wednesday, because we swapped it from Tuesday to Wednesday this week, because it's Anzac Day. So I couldn't go to footy training Wednesday night. And then Thursday night I went to footy training. It was a very light night, but I took it easy. I'm taking it easy today, because I don't want to get worse for tomorrow. But then that's all I did for the week. So I didn't do anything too special. So hopefully it doesn't affect how I play this week. But we do have a massive game against the Raiders this week, so it's going to be huge. We're versing Cam ellis and the big former AFL player that used to play for Brisbane Lions, so that's going to be a huge. They're a young team, the Raiders, so I'm not sure what they're going to be like. They put it up to the Wang Rovers, I think the first game they played for the year, the Raiders did, and they only just lost to the Rovers, and the Rovers are a pretty good side, so they could be a very, very good game this week. We've just got to play our role, stick to Stevie J's game plan, do what we've spoke about all week, and hopefully we get the win but it should be a really exciting game. Also, I'm going to change it up this week, guys. I'm not going to get pizza for dinner because last week I played like shit and I blame it on the pizza. Now, it's probably not the pizza. It's probably just me being shit at footy. But I'm going to go into town, try something different tonight and hopefully that helps me prepare better for footy tomorrow. So I'm going to shoot into town now and I'll see you when I pick up my food. This week's dinner, carbonara. Pizza didn't work last week. So we're going to try this out. Smash this carbonara. Drink heaps of water, and then probably go straight to bed because I am absolutely knackered. Delicious. Right, I guys, absolutely smashed down that carbonara. I am so full now. That has absolutely pushed me to my limit. Still drinking heaps of water. I'll smack another one or two bottles of these tonight. But that's me done. I'm going to go to bed, watch the footy on the laptop, and hopefully get a really good sleep and wake up feeling a bit better tomorrow because I feel like absolute shit. So, good night, and I'll see you when I wake up. Good morning. I have just woken up 10 minutes ago. It is currently 8.30. 8.30 in the morning. Um, I'm feeling not too bad. I had a pretty good sleep. I didn't end up getting to sleep till after the footy in the end. I couldn't go to sleep. I just kept watching the footy. But I'm feeling all right this morning. Still got a bit of a tickly throat, but hopefully that goes away as the day goes on. So I'm going to get up now, have a coffee, Gonna have some breakfast, but I'm gonna have something different for breakfast this week. Cause I've had eggs the last few weeks and I've been playing like absolute dog balls. So might have something different for brekkie today and see if that changes up how I'm feeling throughout the game. Gonna go get a coffee now, so I'll see you when I pick that up. Righto, so we're gonna change things up this morning for breakfast because whatever we did last week, it didn't really work. So I've gone with a cappuccino with two sugars instead of a nice latte this week. We can have a bit of sugar because we're gonna be running it off today in footy. And for brekkie, we've gone with the four wheat bix with a little bit of sugar on top. And again, the sugar won't hurt too much because we're gonna be using it as energy and running a lot today. But trying some new things for brekkie this morning, hopefully that helps with how I play. Probably won't help at all, probably make me worse. We'll do this, we're gonna smash these down and then we'll see what we're going to do with the rest of the morning after that. Cheers. Ooh. Delicious. Look at this. Yum. Wheat bix. Haven't had these in years. 
Is anyone else that ADD that you have to like watch something while eating food? Like watching Jeff Whitting's vlog while eating breakfast. Like when I'm sitting down doing stuff or like eating, I feel like I have to be watching something. I think my brain's just messed up. Right, I absolutely smashed down them four wheat bigs. I'm feeling pretty full right now. So hopefully that's enough to get me across the line today because I don't want to eat too much. I think I ate too much last week. So that'll probably do me for today. I'll keep drinking this coffee so that'll keep me pretty full for a while. But now I'm just going to go hop back into bed, keep warm because I'm still not feeling 100% and just watch some YouTube for another hour or so until I have to leave. Let's go guys. I'm about to leave to go play today and it's gonna be a pearl a day again. And it should be an exciting game because the Wodonga Raiders, we don't know too much about them. We know that they nearly beat the uh, Wang Rovers two weeks ago, I think it was. And then they got beaten pretty comfortably against their crosstown rivals in the Wodonga Bulldogs last week on Anzac Day. So it's gonna be interesting. We really need to play our best footy this week if we're gonna win. And honestly, I need to have a good week this week because I've been pretty poor the first three weeks and I need to really, really start to play better footy. It's coming about bad time that I've been crook all week this week so I haven't had a very good run up to the to the game day today but I just need to really really focus on my work right I need to get up and down the ground a lot more I've noticed watching the games back doing these commentary videos that I'm not getting up and down the ground as much as I did last year and I'm not having that much of an impact up the ground because I'm not getting up there as much so I need to get up the ground I think today put on as much pressure as I can it's going to be difficult on the old lungs because I've been crook all week but I'm feeling pretty good today so hopefully hopefully once I get out there it sort of clears up and I'm don't notice being sick at all but yeah that's the number one goal today I don't care if I don't kick a goal today I just really want to focus getting the K's in my legs and getting up and down the ground so when you start to struggle guys if you're playing a small forward role I just think you're probably not working hard enough you might think you are but watch the games back if you have that luxury and just work 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 that's all you got to do is work up the ground apply the pressure and then you'll get like a few easy kicks around the back line and like through the middle and then you'll work your way into it and then off that most of the time you're like if you're a forward your defender won't work up with you he sort of holds back what I've found and then you get cheap kicks up there and then going back they like lose you and then like you might be able to get them on the back burner going back and then get a cheap goal out the back so that's the game plan just hopefully get a few nice kicks up the ground and then hopefully lose my defender on the way back and hopefully get a couple goals but I am sick but I don't want to use that as an excuse at all today I'm not even going to think about that when I'm out there today. Just want to play my best footy and hopefully we get the win. If you want these game day vlogs, keep coming. If you keep breaking 100 likes each week and you keep liking and subscribing, I will keep making these game day vlogs. So if you want to see more of them, just keep commenting, keep liking and subscribing and I can easily make these. They're not hard to make. Hopefully I can play better footy for you all so it's a bit more entertaining on the footy side of things. But yeah, just keep letting me know what you want to see. I will eventually start doing like stuff in the change rooms and that. I'm just not quite comfortable enough yet putting the camera in people's faces because a lot of people hate being on camera so I don't know about bringing a camera out in the change rooms but we'll see if that's what you want to see I'm sure I can organize a couple of the boys to have some post-match interviews and stuff just keep showing the love on these videos and I'll keep making them but yeah that's pretty much all I've got for today I'm gonna to drive to the footy now so good luck to you guys if you're playing this week and good luck to us and I'll see you after the game you so unfortunately Cam Ellis Yolman didn't end up playing in this game he got injured the week before, I think, so he was not named in the team. But I just wanted to start the game by starting up really high and get my hands on it early. So I was lucky here within the first minute and a half of the game. Bailey gives me a nice little handball over the top, drops short in the mud, but I give it up to Willie Wheeler. And he kicks it in board to 50 to Big Willow, and he drops an absolute sitter, which he would normally absolutely gobble up but that was just the start of how our day was going to eventuate so the stoppage after that we have a ball up and willow grabs it out of the ruck and he handballs it out to me and i snap it on my left and absolutely got none of that was not kicking my snaps good at all on the weekend and that went through for a behind it was really good to start to get my hands on it early how he looks inboard and hits me up on the about 60 meters out from goal and then I see Pendy in a one-on-one -on -one, so I chip it up to his advantage but unfortunately his defender just punched the shit out of it and got it well and truly out of there but this is just a bit of play to show you how our day went Basil gets it in kicks it in long to Pender no one on him and he absolutely drops a sitter 
Then he just handballs it out to Cam and he just bellies it and just kicks it out. And Millie goes on the full, but he scrapes it in for a behind. And that was just a start of how our day was going and this is what you love to see your big key forward getting a nice smother on the boundary line there and getting it in for a throw in so i just thought i'd sh throw that in there because that is motivational when your big key forward does that but here i go again hosel gives me a nice little handball out similar spot before but i snap it through this time maxi left it go through he could have marked that easy but he was very, very kind and let it go through for a goal. So I got the first goal for the day and we had only kicked one goal five. So we weren't kicking straight. But this is just an example of, like I said before, if you work up really hard as a forward and you push back, you normally lose your defender. So Willow takes a mark and chips it in front of me and Foz. But unfortunately, just put a bit too much on it and me and Foz could not quite get there. But that was an opportunity running into an open goal, which would have been an easy goal for me or Foz. This one's just funny because Rhino gets it, chips it inboard to me. It looked beautiful, but I just couldn't jump high enough to get it. Just trickled over my head, so there's a missed opportunity for me. But luckily, we get it out the back. Harry gets it, kicks it in towards Willow, and he takes a great grab. And then Willow goes back and kicks our second goal for the day and kicks his first for the afternoon. So here was another opportunity for us. Foz kicks it in towards Pender, and I see what's going to happen here. So I read it beautifully, get the spill, but I kick it as I get pushed. So it just put me off enough to make me miss another goal. So I've kicked two points to one. So I could have had a great first quarter kicking three goals. But that's the end of the first quarter. We kicked two goals, nine for 21. And the Raiders kicked at zero, one for one point. So we get it in our forward 50 here. And Coey chips it up to the goal square. And it was just carrying. And it nearly went on the full. But luckily... I was smart enough to get my hand in between it and the goalpost, so we got another stoppage. And luckily for me, because we get a throw in, and I read it pretty well, get body early, shrug a tackle, get out, left foot snap, and again, I just was towing my snaps today. We all could not kick to save ourselves at goal, and there's another missed opportunity for me. I could have kicked three goals already this in the first half, but unfortunately, another bad kick from me. So the Raiders go inside 50 here, and he, their forward had plenty of space. He takes a good grab, goes back, and kicks their first goal for the day. 20 minutes into the second quarter, they hit the scoreboard and kick beautifully for a goal. So we go forward here again. Fothergill snaps it over to Matt Casey, who we threw forward this quarter. And he juggles a mark, and then I think the siren goes here somewhere. So Matty Casey will have a shot after the siren to get us a nice lead going into the third quarter but unfortunately we just could not kick straight like none of us could kick straight today and we had kicked four goals to 17 points for 41 and the Raiders had kicked two goals three for 15 so it was very very worrying that we could not kick straight so Stevie J had us in at half time and he really wanted us to be unselfish this second half Instead of having an impossible shot where you're most likely going to kick a point, he really wanted us to pass a few off and really just get that team bonding going in the second half. The young Raiders side started off really well here in the third quarter. Absolutely tackles Forgy and gets him caught holding the ball. And the young fella goes back from right on the 50 here and he absolutely dobs it. So there's no excuses why we're kicking points from 30 metres out straight in front when this young fella absolutely dobs a bomb from 50 metres out. So Pendy gets a good grab here about 50 metres out and he looks in board and chips one beautifully to me and I take a nice little mark there about 35 to 40 metres out on a slight angle but I was pretty confident here and I went back and I really needed this one. I'd been practicing my shed shots all week and I go back here and bang, Dobber, nice goal there. So I get my second goal. So now I've kicked two goals and three points. And then Rhino gets one here about 70 metres out and he looks in board. I just had plenty of space to lead to. So I get another opportunity. Nice uncontested mark. And I was about 35 metres out, I reckon. And I was on a slight angle. And here, my bread and butter is a left foot snap. So I was like... Right, I'll go for a left foot snap here. I normally absolutely dob these. But well, I don't know what we're doing. I just absolutely towed it. I don't know what I did. I've never done that before. Normally snaps are my favorite thing. And I don't know what I did wrong there, but I absolutely missed another golden opportunity. So that was the end of the third. And we are still kicking terribly. We've kicked eight goals to 20 points. 
for 68, and the Raiders had kicked pretty straight, three goals, three for 21. But we were just kicking shocking. Like, there was no excuse. There was no win. The weather was beautiful. It was just contagious, I think, that day. Like, we just all were sort of just missing golden opportunities. So I get my hands on one early here. Cam Wilson chips to me a bit short, but I got there for a nice little easy mark. And then I see Horry calling for it loud. So I give it to him and he just dobs it in board and we get another uncontested mark inside our 50. So Willie Wheeler gets a clearance here. So he takes a bounce, gets a shepherd, takes another bounce and he chips it beautifully to me. And I was pretty confident there, but I seen Foz calling for it out the back with absolutely no one on him. So I thought I'd do the team thing and pass it off to him. And Father Gill goes back and absolutely makes sure of it. So it was a great little goal assist for me. And I felt good giving it off to Foz. He was very thankful. So it was a good start to the fourth quarter for me. So I don't know what happened here. But as you'll see, the game just froze. And then we lost about 10 minutes worth of footage. It went black like this for 10 minutes. But what I remember in that 10 minutes, I got another mark about 40 meters out straight in front. And again, I passed it off to, I think it was Father Gill. So I give him another goal and that was good. But then I got a mark right on the point line, like probably just in front of the point post and about a meter out wide. And I should have went for a right foot snap, but I tried to banana it from that close and I absolutely middled the ball and it went straight up. And it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. The commentators reckon it was the worst kick they've ever seen. So. Fair play to them, gotta love it. But yeah, luckily the footage was gone of that because it was pretty embarrassing. But the footage come back up and Coe chips it in board to me and then I'm just unselfish as, again, I don't know why. Should have went for a goal there. I would have easily kicked that, but I tried to chip it to Foz to give him three and I kicked it over his head, but luckily we get a goal out of it anyway. So technically it's another goal assist, but I should have just, realistically, I should have just had a shot at goal there and could have kicked my third. Big Willow takes a nice clunk there and he goes back and kicks his sixth goal for the day, but he kicks seven points. Big Willow, our key forward, kicks six goal seven. So it could have been an absolute day out for him, but unfortunately it wasn't. But the Raiders boys start to make the most of their opportunities in the last quarter here. He absolutely bombs a floater from about 55 meters out and she wobbles through. And then again, the Raiders get a nice little snap out of a stoppage and they get two late ones on us to bring the score back a bit closer. So that was the end of the game and we kicked 17 goals, 27 for 129. That's 44 scoring shots. We really could have damaged that, but unfortunately we couldn't kick straight. And the Young Raiders kicked seven goals, four for 46. Honestly, they played a bit better than that. The score line doesn't show how much pressure and that they were putting on. They're a very good, young, competitive side and it's good to see. But for me, I'm pretty happy with how I played. All things considered, I did kick five points, but I kicked two goals five. So I had plenty of scoring opportunities there and I really could have played one of my best games at senior level. I got three goal assists as well. So that goes far as well. But yeah, I just don't think I could honestly miss that many goals again if I tried. So taking that into next week, if I get that many opportunities, that would probably be like, maybe four goals two or something instead of two goals five or whatever it was. So I'm pretty happy with how I played in the end. After all, I was very, very sick and I could barely breathe running around out there. But next week is gonna be a huge game. We versed the Lavington Panthers at home. So I don't know what it's gonna be like, but it's gonna be huge. So make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see that vlog. So I love you all, peace out.